see, Kevin. So what do you have there? Well, this is my new Cerberus 3D uh, 400 series 3D printer. Got a few bells and whistles on it. And just to give you a quick little tour around here, all of the uh, electronics are down in the bottom as far as the computer that actually runs it. We've got the on switch, on off switch over here. Got a connection for a USB to the computer so you can dump your files over here. And then we've got a switch, hello, Whoa. that turns on the disco lights. <laughs> a nice big, nice big piece of aluminum in here for a print tray. So nice and solid, it's uh, about a half inch thick. It's actually clipped to the heated bed, which is underneath here, with these little paper clips. So you could take it out to clean it. And hiding in the back back here, this is actually the extruder motor. And then it runs, it's just got a, a drive cable that runs up through this orange tube. He's reduced unsprung weight. So rather than have a whole motor hanging up here like the 250 did, where now you have to compensate for that inertia as the head is moving back and forth. This helps you know, get the weight out of there. It makes this lighter and it makes for a, a much more you know, uniform print. What he's done now is he's just put in these three set screws on the three towers. Then all you have to do is run your, uh, run your print head down and then adjust the three screws to be able to get your, your Z height set, both on the three corners and right in the middle. So it makes it a little bit easier. Just a little turn screw rather than having to play with the code. Up here on the print head itself, of course you've got the nozzle. And this is the hot end. It's got a little cooling fan to help cool the hot end when, when you need it. But it's also got this little blower right here. So he's got this little blower that comes right down and actually blows right down on the print itself. Has your printing. So when you get into something like this, down here it's not that important to cool it. But once you start getting higher and higher and the print starts getting smaller and smaller, what happens is the print head is now going around so fast because that diameter has gotten smaller, that you wind up with a heat buildup when it gets into these real tiny, delicate parts. And that blower is there just for this kind of printing. So you can cool all this down, has its printing, has its crawling around, and gets to the top. And look at how smooth this came out up in here, up in this little tiny, tiny little area, right up to this nice, fine little point. I did nothing to this print when I took it off the tray. That this is this is how well this machine prints. Up here at the top of the machine, this is the little control LED, you know, control panel for it. This little LED, and you've got this little scroll dial to work back and forth for what you're you're looking to do. And here's all the files inside, so you can just come down and select one, and just put the machine to work. It's also nice that well, it's just held on with magnets. You know, so if you want to be able to bring it down, see they're not working up in the air with it, you can bring it down where you can see it a little better. The reason I bought it, really, with this new, uh, with this new hot end, it can go much, much hotter than the 250 ever thought of going. So this opens up a whole bunch of different filaments that I can use in this machine now. You know, I can print copper with it. I can print, uh, you know, I can print some of the ceramics with it. I can print some of the nylons with it. I mean, it just opens up a whole new world of stuff to play with. So I'm going to go ahead and put this puppy to work and create something with it. You guys are just going to reach down there and hit that subscribe button for me. And I'll see you all next time. And it's really cool because it's got these little disco lights in it. If you turn the machine on first...